Welcome, today we're gonna to take a look at Valix for Google Sheets. Uh, so we're gonna start with a blank spreadsheet. And for those of you not familiar with Valix, Valix allows you to extend Salesforce to Google Sheets so that you can continue to live and work in your Google Spreadsheets where you're familiar, where you can leverage existing functionality, your sorting, your filtering, the ability to collaborate and share documents with each other. Uh, but everything can be bi-directional now with Salesforce. So let's take a look at how we can get started with Valorix. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to my add-ons and I've already grabbed Valorix. Where you can do this is go into get add-ons and in the Google Marketplace search for Valorix. So let's go ahead and click start. And you'll notice on the right hand side, uh, Valorix will pop up and I already have a connection, but this is where you'd create a connection to your Salesforce environment. So you would do it for the first time you're doing this. And then where I was brought to is into the apps tab. So these are all of the applications or templates that I have access to. So why don't we go ahead and start with a simple one. So what's happened is, is we've opened up an application from Salesforce and somebody has set this up to work across the opportunity object, the account object, and the contact object. And we have a certain amount of fields. So typical user here would be a sales user. I'm managing my forecast. The most important object to me is opportunities, something that I'm constantly updating every week to make sure our forecast is up to date. And I have the more common fields as well, you know, the amount, the stage, the close date, and so on. So you have some options on how you want to get data out. And again, this is set up by somebody in the design studio of Alaric. And in here, we have a couple different user experience. I could just pick my top 200. I could grab all my opportunities. I could pick accounts and the opportunities for those selected accounts. Uh, let's just go ahead and say all opportunities. And you can see what's taken place. It's retrieved all my opportunities. The data that I have access to is all based on Salesforce, my profile, my permission. And you can see things like formulas that were written in here will automatically expand based on the data set. So in this case, we got a little over 2,600 opportunities. We retrieved a little over 950 accounts and 180 contacts. So Valorx can work across any object standard or custom. It can work on any number of objects simultaneously. In this example, we retrieved uh, data for three different objects. One other thing to point out is uh, each data type can have a special treatment. So like stage, which is a pick list, we have something called a color bar. So you can have as many colors as you would like. You could turn this off, but this is to help draw the user's attention to where you want their focus to be. And then very naturally, as a sales rep, I can take a look at all my opportunities. I can come in here make changes. You'll see our pick lists are brought over by Salesforce as well. I can jump into another tab. Maybe I want to tier my accounts, something important to me, so I can, you know, tier. Let's say I want to tier all of these, it's tier ones. I want to tier this. All right, I can do anything at that speed of that spreadsheet. I can come into the contacts. Maybe I want to make changes here as well. And then whenever I'm ready, I can simply just click on this update button. So let's go ahead and do that together. And you can see in our save summary that we updated 16 account records, 10 contact records, and five opportunity records. So the updates also can work across as many objects, as many records simultaneously. And you'll notice in column H for the opportunity, there's something called the transaction status. This is something that you can enable on any grid uh, inside these Valorix applications. And it's giving us an indicator that these records were successfully updated. You can see for some of the other tabs that I've actually turned the transaction status off. So you could have it for each of these tabs in here, uh, but you'll notice in the opportunity. Okay, let's take a look at a couple other examples. And by the way, um, this is a use case typically for salespeople managing their opportunities, tiering their accounts, managing contacts, but you could even have you know, a customer success group that is purely just looking at closed one opportunities and responsible for next steps. So different types of users can be responsible for different columns in here. Uh, everything again is controlled by a user's profile and permission. All field level security is supported as well. So let's take a look at a couple other examples. So once you've opened an application, it'll be sitting in your drive, just like uh, a normal Google Doc would be.
And here I want to show maybe a manager's view. So a manager would have a team of account executives they're responsible for. You could have something like this where each sales rep is split into their own tab. And then as a manager, I can just clearly look at the opportunities. I can have roll-up fields in here as well. So formulas that, again, were written once that automatically expanded based on the data set. So I can see for, you know, Jarrett, I can see the four different quarters. I can see the different stages across his columns. And then I can see the values and how he's doing. And I can see the same for Dennis and Sierra also. So something that I might be interested in doing is, you know, I might see for Q4 that, you know, we're pretty close to getting $200,000. So something that I could do in here is I could use standard filtering. And you can see we're brought to those three opportunities. If we take a look at the amount, that equals up to that 194,000. And maybe here is where I want to say, yeah, you know, let's commit all three of these opportunities because as a manager, I'm responsible for just these two columns. And I can come in here and say, executive alignment needed. Um, do we have a coach? Um, possible upside. All right, so I can do these types of things. I could always come in and select everything. I'm still sorting by that close date. I could jump to some of my other reps and I could do things in bulk and say, you know, executive alignment. Jump to Sierra and do the same thing here as well. And again, I get a very simple view over all of my sales reps, all over all the opportunities, as, a, as well as the rollups here. And then when I'm ready, I can just push my changes back to Salesforce. So I'm going to go ahead and say update. And you can see that we've updated, you know, the three opportunities in the first tab, 13 in the second, and 16 in the third. So again, bulk updating, very easy to do. Again, you get the sp speed of the spreadsheet. Now let's take a look at two more examples. Here's an example of a parent child. So we're seeing header information coming from the account and opportunity, and then we're seeing a related list like opportunity products. So in this example, we're going to prompt the user to select an opportunity. So here we have, you know, the ability to look into Salesforce. I can filter. So let's see, I want to see, you know, maybe things that are in closed one. And very quickly, I can data mine through here and find that there's 261 opportunities that are closed one. So let's go ahead and pick this top one. So a different way of visualizing data, we're looking at parent-child relationship. And if I was to make changes to some of these fields, just like we've been doing so far, and maybe I want to change quantity for all of these. I can see my total price updating. I can see my overall total updating. And when we're ready, click update. And what you're seeing in this example, because the top section here was made up from fields of the account and opportunity, it's telling us that an account record was updated, an opportunity record was updated, and we updated all 15 opportunity product lines in this example. And then the final example would be something like this. You can take existing spreadsheets. The layout can be all over the place. You can have individual individual fields stacked in a column. You can have a three-dimensional matrix. You can have multiple tabs. And this is where the real power, power of Valorix allows you to take an existing format, keep it the exact same way, and same thing we've been doing so far. I'm going to retrieve some information from Salesforce. I'm going to work in this spreadsheet. I'm going to select an opportunity. Some of my information got brought in from the account and opportunity. I'm just going to go ahead and fill out a couple more things. So very naturally, I would just jump around, fill out my inputs. Notice that there's formulas that are calculating based on my inputs. And now I want the results of these formulas to also save back to Salesforce. So not only is it taking my inputs and my changes, but if we're doing anything like a formula here, we can take the results and save it. So let's go ahead and click Update.
Perfect. So that's the last example I wanted to show, but it gives you an idea of Ballarx for Google Sheets. You can do things at the speed of a spreadsheet and be able to do mass updating as well as creating of records. Thanks.